everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your reading for the week starting the 14th of February. This is for Scorpio and I'm using my Teacup Tarot deck and also my Time to Shine deck. So let's get right on with your reading for a really positive week. And your overall energy here is the card, the Ten of Teacups. This is about emotional fulfillment. It's about quality family time. It's about feeling that all your emotional needs are met. And it's the card of absolute happiness. And here we have the lovely family. They're all together, having a cup of tea together. They feel safe. They feel secure and their relationships are trustworthy, and they're having a wonderful time together. So very much a focus on home and family this week. Your help or your hurdle, we have the card number four, the emperor. This is the card of leadership, showing those lovely qualities, stepping up. It's planning, it's organisation, it's working for success. And the emperor here, Everything in his orbit is neat and tidy and organised. The emperor has a plan. They know exactly where they're going and how to get there. So that's key mindfulness for you this week. And your guidance following on from that is card number nine of teacups. It's wishes coming true. It's the make a wish card. It's being able to manifest exactly what you need. And look at our angel here. Look, she's got a teapot. It's a bit like Aladdin's lamp. And she is manifesting all these cups of tea, which is just what she was hoping to do. So wishes coming true and success right here for you. How can we help ourselves? We have the card, the three of pencils. This is the card that asks you to relax, to rest. This is the card of healing. And it reminds you that things will get better. It's trusting that things will improve and they will be. Our lovely angels here are just pausing for a cup of tea together. They're having a lovely healing conversation, taking time out, and then they will be ready to move on. Pulling it all together, we have the card, the Eight of Wands. This is the card that tells us delays are over. Our lovely angels here are juggling the wands. There's a lot that's up in the air. Everything's taken off. Juggling is easy. They're saying on the box here, and they're having to consider an awful lot going on at once. So delays over, lots going on, a sudden forward momentum. After things have felt a little bit delayed or stalled for some reason, now it's time for things to take off. And your final card is card 15, Ego. And this reminds you to move forward with positivity, with optimism and confidence, and to leave behind anything that's holding you back or weighing you down. Our lovely angel here, look, she's left behind fear, stress, guilt, anger, self-sabotage. Those are heavy rocks that she's leaving behind. But look, she's picked up the balloons so much lighter and she's simply focusing on those. Self-belief, confidence, positivity, and she's moving along her path. These are guiding her way. They're much lighter. She's left this heaviness behind and she's on her way. So just to summarise, quality family time, emotional fulfilment is the overriding energy for you this week. Leadership planning and organisation is key and wishes coming true. This will help wishes coming true, manifesting what it is that you've been working towards, trust that things will get better, lots going on, lots up in the air, but follow that positivity, that confidence and that self-belief, and this will serve you well as you walk forward on your path. So let's just clarify. The three of thought, 
here we have this card here. It's the exact same card from a different deck. Trust that things will get better. Take time out, relax, take some time out, have some quality conversations and know that things are getting better. Pause, reflect, realize how far you've come and then be ready to climb to wonderful new heights. Learn new skills, try something new and most importantly with this card, pay attention to the small details. When you're planning and you're making these new plans and getting organized, the small details are key in those new plans and in that new way forward. Celebrate your individuality, be lovely, individual you and find new positive perspectives. Look at things in a positive new light. And again, we have a double message. The four of wisdom is the same as the emperor card here. Leadership qualities are key, get organized, make these detailed plans with all the small detail taken care of and stay disciplined. And finally, we have the dreamer card. Time to follow your dreams, enjoy those new opportunities. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you are ready and be ready to take that step out of your comfort zone towards something new and positive and life enhancing for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.